Okay, Tim, here's a earth science quiz for you. What is this rock formation? If you said syncline, you're right. What was the description of the rock, Debbie? It's, um... I have to get my glasses out. <clears throat> 85 to 100 feet of interbedded, locally lenticular, brownish red sandstone and siltstones. Brownish red to gray siltstones and shales and a few thin beds of just gypsum and fossiliferous limestone. Remember good old dirt science class, Tim? It really paid off.
Well, it's the afternoon of our second day, and uh, we're just coasting along with the current right now, staying in the shade. It's very quiet here. Mud, mud bathing beauty. How'd you get muddy? In the quicksand out there, as you can see. Trying to pull us into shore. Getting a close up of your legs and feet. Yeah. <laughs> yes, lovely. You can see I'm wet. I'm dirty on my back side from going in places where the mud kind of gave away. And was, uh, stuff's treacherous. Well, we're grounded in a shallow spot here. So we're both going to have to get out and pull like the African queen. At least there's no leeches, right? Yeah. Well, we made it to one of the premier spots that we were trying to get to on this trip. It's a place called uh, The Notch, I guess, and it's in, a, in an area called Bonot Bend. And if you can see the river down below, we're camped down there, just about where I'm pointing now. It's a little hard to see. Our tent is hidden. But uh, the river uh, moves from left to right, the uh, current. And if I swing around here, you can see it going downstream, and then it goes around that uh, bend. And then, if I pan around here, you can see it comes back again. And it's, it takes about a seven mile curve to get around to where it comes back here. And the distance from that side to this side is probably only about or 500 yards from river to river and then it goes on downstream so I'm glad we made it up here it's about just going on six o'clock so we got up here before dinner and we're gonna go back down and get, make some dinner how are you doing okay I survived you want to say hello to anybody I certainly don't want to say hello to my mother. She'll have a fit. <laughs> <laughs> How about Tim and Carrie? Sure, I like Tim and Carrie. 
Hi Mom, hi Lynn and Steve, hi Kathy, hi Peggy. So it's been a pretty good trip. We did 18 miles today, a lot of rowing. And we've got a long ways to go every day, probably about the same amount. So we're going to get a drink and then head on back down to the camp. Well, it's morning of day five, is it, Demi? Yeah, we're just getting, day four, we're just getting started. There's the notch right up there that we climbed to yesterday. And we're heading around Bonot Bend. Seven and a half miles will take us just about back to where we started from. Well, we've been rowing for about two and a half hours and we just made it to the other side of the notch in Bonat Bend. This is looking upriver. You can see right above us there is uh, the notch that we had climbed up yesterday. Looks a little bit steeper on this side. Beautiful day, nice weather again. Well, the canyon walls are getting higher the farther we get into the Labyrinth Canyon. about a thousand feet here. Well, after uh, rowing for about five hours, we got down to this side canyon where um, there's an inscription put on the rock. I'll see if I can get up to it here. Maybe two different inscriptions. This one is D. Julien, 1836, 3 May. He was supposedly a trapper who came through here uh, and put his initials and name up there. Then right next to it is a what looks like a winged sun. And that may be an earlier Anasazi um, pictograph or whatever you call it. But uh, we almost missed this. We were looking all over the place for it and just found it. And it's up a side canyon. I can show you a little bit more if I move the camera over. And the river is back down that way. It's a nice little shady spot to uh, eat lunch.
Well, it's the morning of day six. We're just, it's about 6 a.m. We're getting breakfast ready. Well, we're now in Stillwater Canyon in Canyonlands National Park. Looks about the same though. This whole area is, looks kind of like a mini Grand Canyon. Well, we're about a quarter to a half mile away from the river, and it's about going on seven o'clock in the evening. And according to our river guide, this is an old cutoff meander of the river. In other words, the river used to run through here and then uh, cut through some more ground and uh, cut off this, this flow so it's now a cut-off meander. We're looking for some petroglyphs, but so far haven't spotted them. This is the uh, same cut-off looking from the opposite direction. And the current used to go up in that direction and then came back where the previous shot was, right through here. The river is down in that direction, about a quarter mile. Well, it's morning of the sixth day. We just got on the river, putting sunscreen on. It's a beautiful day compared to yesterday afternoon. Well, all day yesterday was overcast, and then in the afternoon it got very windy. Uh, upriver winds, probably 25 miles an hour, 30, 30 maybe, making it almost impossible to steer. Our campsite was right up in that direction. And then we had rain during the night, and then it all cleared up overnight.
Debbie's doing her uh, African Queen <laughs> act. We're stuck on a sandbar in the middle of the river. She's pushing. It's not going anywhere. Push harder. <laughs> We're going. Keep pushing. I think I need to try pulling a little bit. Close up of that, huh? <laughs> it's really thick even back here, right? You know, right on in the water. I'm sinking in about a foot. Well, we're about a mile above the confluence of the Green and uh, Colorado Rivers. So we're very close to the end of our trip. I'm looking upriver. And if you look down in that direction, you can't quite see it, but the Colorado meets the Green River just around the bend up there. And we just stopped here for lunch. down there. And Debbie is sitting there in the shade. It's gotten quite windy and we're going to look for a campsite down river and uh, try to get out of the wind. Well, we made it to the confluence, and looking in back of us is the Green River, where if you look to the left, that's the Colorado, and then going to the right, 
is the combined green in Colorado heading downstream, which is where we're going. Well, we're at our final campsite on the Colorado River, just about a mile down from the confluence of the green in Colorado. The river's got a lot more water in it. What time would you say it is, Debbie? 15. Mm. <clears throat> I'm having a beer for breakfast. <laughs>